Hello my dear students this is Aditya Chakraborty today i am going to discuss about boilers steam turbines and steam engines today is the first part of my lecture so the first slide is a layout of modern steam power plant or a layout of a modern steam power station or you can say a coal fired fired power stations or thermal power stations so now you can see here is a layout diagram or block diagram of a thermal power plant so there are several numbers of blocks at first the coal storage so from the coal storage the coal are supplied to the coal handling plant or to the coal crusher what is coal crusher in the coal handling plant the coals are pulverized to use its most of the calorific value and it's supplied to the boiler furnace so after that the boiler furnace the coal is supplied to the furnace fluidized bed and it is ignited by ignition and after that the steam in the boiler which is produced by the help of heating of the water in the boiler drum is supplied to the superheater and through the superheater it is supplied to the valve and after that the valve is fed the steam is fed to the turbine blade or low pressure turbine blade after that high pressure turbine blade and after the steam is uh, exhaust to the condenser and the turbine is coupled with the alternator when the turbine is in rotating condition the alternator is also rotates and the exciter which is a dc supply source which is a dc generator or a pilot exciter which is uh, in the same shaft of alternator and supply the dc source to the field of the alternator and the alternator generates generates the electrical power which is supplied to the bus bar for transmission by the help of step of transformer isolator and circuit breaker so after the ignition in the boiler furnace a flue gas is produced and this flue gas is heated and this heated flue gas is supplied to the superheater to economizer to air preheater and it is exhausted uh, or exhaust by by the help of chimney to the outer atmosphere and this flue gas heated the steel tubular plate which is in the superheater economizer and air preheater so by the help of the heat of the flue gas and by the radiation process the superheater economizer and air preheater is being heated and after the steam exhaust it is flowing to the condenser condenser is a device which is used to condensed the steam and in the condenser the cold water is stored and there are two types of condenser one is jet condenser one is surface condenser and the water which condenses the steam and converted into water and this water is uh, supplied to the economizer to the boiler drum by the help of condensed extraction pump that is cep feed water pump and after that it has come to the feed water heater so what is the working principle of feed water heater feed water heater is nothing but uh, an electrical uh, heating device which heated the condenser uh, the heated the water which is comes from the condenser and by heating the water it increase the boiler efficiency that means the less fuel 
is required in the boiler or the fuel consumption of, of boiler is reduced and after that this heated water is supplied to the economizer and uh, is, this economizer is already heated by the help of flue gas so the water is also heated so the heat of the water is increased and it is supplied to the boiler or for that very reason the fuel which is that means the coal which is required in the boiler furnace is reduced so the ignition of boiler is reduced that means the cost of fuel is also reduced that means the boiler efficiency is increased and the fuel cost is minimized by the help of economizer so it reduces the economic cost so this is known as economizer okay and for better ignition the oxygen is required to the boiler furnace and by the help of force draft fan the oxygen is supplied to the air preheater and the air preheater is already heated by the flue gas and so flue gas is uh, heated the uh, already heated by the flue gas and the air which is flowing through the air preheater to the boiler is also heated so the heated oxygen is supplied to the boiler and that for that reason the boiler efficiency is also increased so air preheater is also increase the boiler efficiency and reduces the consumption of coal now the water which is in the condenser and which helps to condense the steam is heated by the uh, radiation process so this water of the condenser is supplied to the cooling tower for reused in the condenser and the water at first which is supplied uh, uh, from the river or canal uh, for making the steam is supplied through the water treatment chamber and this is so that mean that means there must be a source of water or river or canal is required in case of a modern steam power plant so this is the basic uh, principle operation of uh, steam power station or steam power plant so now the next slide is the explanation so what is coal and ash handling plant the coal is transported to the power station by road or rail and is stored in the coal storage plant that means uh, coal storage plant is located near at the rail line or nearest the rail line or the uh, railway track okay uh, storage of coal is primarily a matter of protection against coal coal store shortage from the coal storage plant coal is delivered to the coal handling plant where it is pulverized as i have already said that means crushed into small pieces to use the full calorific value of the coal in order to increase the surface exposure and thus promoting rapid combustion uh, without using large quantity of excessive air the pulverized coal is fed to the boiler by belt conveyor so conveyor belt is the mechan mechanism by which the coal is supplied to the boiler furnace and this conveyor belt is driving by or uh, driven by the dc series motor or three phase induction motor and it is worthwhile to give a passing reference to the amount of coal burned and ash produced in a modern thermal power station a 100 megawatt station operating at 50% load factor uh, may burn about 20000 tons of coal okay load factor means load factor means the connected load by maximum demand okay so the 20 for the 50% of load factor uh, a 20000 tons of coal has to be burned so this is the coal and ash handling plant so you can see here the diagram 
of a boiler furnace and boiler and a steam is fed to the turbine to the alternator and after that the electrical power is generated in the alternator and is step up by the transformer and supplied to the bus bar for transmission now the next slide the steam generating plant the steam generating plant consists of boiler for production of steam and other auxiliary equipments for utilization of flue gases so number one boiler there are two types of boiler mainly used one is fire tube boiler and one is water tube boiler actually in case of thermal power plant the maximum boilers are the water tube boiler that means the water is flowing to the tube and the sur the surrounding of the tube the ignition has done and the fire tube boiler is mainly used for steam engine and small captive power plant so the heat of combustion coal in the uh, of in the boiler is utilized to convert water into steam at high temperature and pressure the flue gases from the boiler make their journey through superheater economizer air preheater and are finally exhausted to atmosphere through the chimney as i have already said now the superheater the steam produced in the boiler is wet and is passed through a superheater where it is dried and superheated and steam temperature increased above that of boiling point of water actually in in a boiler the steam produced uh, the in a boiler is not superheated and it is not saturated that means there are some sort of water particles so by the help of superheater the steam is superheated and saturated and see this dry steam is supplied to the turbine blade so now firstly the overall efficiency is increased due to the superheater secondly too much uh, condensation in the first last stage of turbine is avoided the superheated steam from the superheater is fed to steam turbine through the main valve to control the pressure of steam or to increase or reduce the pressure of steam by the help of the valve and pressure gauge now the economizer an economizer is essentially a feed water heater and derives heat from the flue gases for this purpose the feed water is fed to the economizer before supplying to the boiler the economizer extract a part of heat of flue gas to increase the feed water temperature and to increase the boiler efficiency also now the air preheater an air preheater increase the temperature of the air supplied for coal burning that means it is it uh, heated the uh, air for better burning of coal air is drawn from the atmosphere by a force draft fan and it passes through the air preheater before supplying to the boiler furnace the air preheater extract heat from the flue gas and increases the temperature of air used for coal combustion the principal benefits of preheating the air are increase the thermal efficiency and increase the steam capacity per square meter of boiler surface and the steam turbine so in case of thermal power, power plant the impulse turbine is mainly used so the dry and superheated steam from the superheater is fed to the steam turbine through main valve the heat energy of steam when passing over the blades of the turbine is converted into mechanical energy after giving heat energy to the turbine the steam is exhausted to the condenser which condenses the exhaust steam by means of cold water circulation and the alternator alternator means the ac generator is coupled with the steam turbine and it is used to convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy the steam turbine is coupled to an alternator the alternator converts the mechanical energy to electrical energy and it is supplied to the bus bar for 
better transmission by the help of step out transformer or circuit breaker relays isolator or the switch gear devices now the feed water the consent condensate from the condenser is used as feed water to the boiler some water may be lost in the cycle which is suitably made up from the external source that means from the external river or external canal or the external water source the feed water on its way to boiler is heated by water heater and economizer to increase the boiler efficiency this helps in raising the efficiency of the boiler and if is overall efficiency of the power plant another cooling arrangement in order to improve the efficiency of the plant the steam exhausted from the turbine is condensed by means of condenser and water is drawn from a natural source or supply such as river canal lake and circulated through the condenser and the circulating water takes up the heat from the exhaust steam and it is it being heated okay and itself become so much hot and this hot water coming out from the condenser is discharged at a suitable location down the river in case the availability of water from the source of supply not assured throughout the year cooling towers are used okay during the scarcity of water in the river hot water from the condenser is passed on to cooling tower where it is cooled and there are two types of cooling tower one is forced draft cooling tower one is natural draft cooling tower and the cold water from the cooling tower is reused in the condenser thank you that's all for today